Uh, so in the first tutorial we're going to talk about this uh, function which is called underscore dot each uh, for the underscore dot js library. Uh, so this function basically iterates through each item of an array or an object uh, through a callback function. Okay, so I'll just explain that to you. That is all right. So this function iterates through each items of an array or object using a callback function and makes the uh, makes each item's index and its value available to you inside that callback function. So this is the syntax. So it's underscore dot each. Then we the first parameter is array or object. Then this is a callback. This is a callback function. Uh, it takes three parameters. Uh, you can just pass one or two also, and the rest of them will be optional. Um, so first is the value, which is the value of the um, item in the array or object. Then next the index or the key, so index of an array or key of an object, and then this is the array or object, and then your code goes over here. So I'll just to uh, show you the example. So this is my JavaScript.js file, and um, this is I've created a variable called artist, which is an array containing three elements, three items, and this is my function underscore dot each. First parameter is the array. Then this is a callback function which takes three parameters. First is artist. Uh, artist is basically each item in the array. Index, which is the index of each item, so 0, 1, and 2. Artist, this is optional if you want to pass it or not. If you don't pass it, it's okay. Let's just keep it for now. Um, then we are doing console log and we are getting the value of artist. So each time the loop iterates, for example, the first time it iterates, artist will have a value of Farrell Williams. Index number, index will have a value of 0. And then second time, it'll have Led Zeppelin as artist and index as one and so on. Okay, so we'll just go to our website and check, refresh the page. As you can see, first item is Fair Williams, index is zero. Second, Led Zeppelin, index one and so on. Okay, cool. Similarly, let's uh, take an example of an object as well. I'm just going to copy my code to save time and paste it here. As you must be aware, this is just a self-executing function, anonymous function. I've passed jQuery into it. We don't need it, but I've just passed it to my reference. Okay, so this is now an object a variable containing three elements, uh, property name, property value, property name, property value, and so on. Okay, this is my function, underscore dot each. First parameter is the object. We are passing this entire object into it. This is a callback function. First parameter is the artist, which is the name which is property value, okay, index, or rather this time we can write as key, because we're dealing with object, okay, so key is basically artist name, artist author name, director name, uh, when it iterates over through this object, okay, so the first time it iterates, we get this artist as Farrell Williams, and key as artist name, second time it iterates, uh, then we get the author name as key and the Led Zeppelin as artist, okay, and so on. So let's just refresh the page and, and see. Yep, that's working. So artist is Fire Williams, index is uh, artist name, or we should just write key over here. Okay, key is artist name, author name, director names. As you can see, that's pretty simple. Okay, if you have any questions, you can leave the comment. You can watch, uh, you can leave the comment, and you can watch the next video for the next function. Thank you.